Hey, this is a Sounds on Vinyl bonus episode here. My name is Phil Boyer, as always, and the guy next to me is none other than the lead singer of all bands, past, present, future, Mr. Mike Svensson, who was at one of the biggest festivals on the planet, which was Sweden Rock Festival, and he's going to kind of give us a little teaser on what he saw the bands he saw the people he talked to the all the ins and outs and uh just to kind of prepare you for what's coming which is of course our brand new mini documentary on sweden rock festival 2023 mike tell us all about sweden rock oh yeah it's it's a for me it's a, a, a special moment and I know it is for the festival too because they are celebrating the 30th anniversary finally and it was supposed to do it uh, some years ago but it you, we know COVID came mm-hmm. and and fucked everything up so finally they get to celebrate with with. Um, with the audience and and not cases like myself who goes to festivals and enjoys uh, live music like that. So it was pretty decent lineup. If if I had to say myself, it, it you had like Def Leppard, you had Motley Crue, you had Ghost. Um, who else was in the bill? Iron Maiden. Uh, those are the biggest names that I can. Testament. Yeah, Testament was there. Yeah. And we had a really cool mid-range band if you know what I mean. I've been mm-hmm. following them if if you, if we have like Motley Crue and Iron Maiden all the way up there, you got uh great bands like Ginger from Ukraine who did a fantastic gig. I shit you not with with the peace logo in in the back. <laughs> with the Euro- Ukrainian flag and and I mean those guys they never disappoint what a uh, fucking show they put on man so uh, as Phil said we're preparing to do this uh, mini documentary we did it uh, last year and uh, it went very well so we thought that well we'll twist it a little bit so uh, keeping it fresh but still we're covering Sweden Rock Festival and and doing stuff that we want to do. So we meet up with with um, uh, people that we love and 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 want to support. And we have exclusive interviews with people from Soil Work. We have Liar Thief Bandit, uh, Eradicated, a new thrash band. We play them on our show, and of, of course, it's 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 all in good fun, but. Um, uh, we're there to support uh, metal music and and do our part in it. So it, it was it was great. It's great to see all all the people that that you know from from past years and 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 whatnot. So that was great. Yeah. Uh, it, it's gonna be it's gonna be special special things coming out in this documentary. Uh, of course, we have got live shots from from both Ginger, as I talked about, and and Solar Work, who did an amazing job. Um, both you and I know Rasmus, mm-hmm. uh, who's uh, the bass player of of uh, Solar Work, and they they were opening up the festival's main stage on on Wednesday. Uh, which was like a big deal, and and Def Leppard and Motley Crue followed that stage later on that evening, which was like, wow, man, they made it like to the main stage. That's that's a big deal, and mm-hmm. they did a a great job uh, keeping the audience uh, at their feet. So, uh, and we sat down with Rasmus, of course, uh, had a long conversation. Uh, we sat down with Mike from Life Thief Bandit also, and uh, yeah, we got some. Uh, yeah, there is. Um, I'm not gonna spoil everything now, <laughs> so we keep it. But it's it's gonna be great. It's such a great festival, and we talked about this before you and I, Phil. Um, how uh, we tend to do 
stuff that we 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 love to do and and for me to be a part of this getting it um um invited as as press and and uh, and um be able to cover the Sweden Rock Festival gets you behind the scenes in in a in a great mm-hmm. way so it's uh, I'm very grateful for um or two Sweden Rock Festivals who, <laughs> who lets in people like me fucking nerd <laughs> over here so it's it's uh, going to be it's going to be good um it was a great festival really was really was so favorite band that you favorite saw favorite band or favorite uh, performance i should say yeah uh i'm i'm pretty torn in 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 that regard because uh i've been following and 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 you've heard them also uh, a band called eradicated mm-hmm. these are young kids uh, and i shit you not it sounds like you um step back in time to like 1984 1985 and it's like it's a mix between metallica and slayer and and man those guys can play fucking hell and yeah. they open it up the whole festival in 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 midday and did a fantastic job um, uh, i was standing there with my jaw open all the time and going <laughs> what the fuck Nice. And they're so well played. They're they're tied together, and and they got everything going. They're young and good looking, and and it they're thrashing and head banging and giving the all, all audience like bang for the buck, if you know what I mean. So uh, that was a fantastic performance. But I have to say, uh, I've only watched Soul Work doing a club gigs i never watched them at a, at a festival uh, so it, that was special and it man oh man uh, i mean being touring like forever it seems and doing doing a um opening up that main stage and 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 it must be nervous, I think, um, being a musician myself, standing there and there was a sea of people in front of them that wanted to witness this. <laughs> and and but they're so cool. Bjorn, the singer, he he's so freaking cool. He took the audience and and was so grateful and 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 for us showing up and 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 whatnot. So we, um, that was also a great uh, great show. And I got got a little surprised because we talked about this before bands that we used to like a bit more. Uh, mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm, I'm talking about the Def Leppard in in for, in this instance. <laughs> yeah, Def Leppard. Yeah, I was uh, going to ask you about this. Okay. Yeah, I I, I was a little bit surprised. We we saw um. Most of the show up front, but then then we moved into the back just to get a, a, a spectrum view of it all. Did did some shots from from the back and and watched the audience and and the big screens and so forth just to get a, a feel for it. And I I was really surprised that, that those guys they put on a show. Um, it it's not my kind of music anymore. Um, even the old songs. Well, it, it didn't have the old flavor to it, like it used no, to. No, but but then, you know me, I'm sentimental. I mean, Rick Allen was in that car accident, mm-hmm. and he lost his freaking arm. I mean, it couldn't be like acoustic drums, if you know what I mean. It had yeah, to yeah, be yeah. something else, and for him to come back. And still have a career, and and still, Different Leopard is one of the biggest bands still around. Um, mm-hmm. So it it was a great show. They put on. Uh, um, they were really, really in the moment. I mean, I've seen some bands just go up there and and just deliver like it's a a, a day on the job, if you know what I mean. Mm-hmm. Um, it's it's. It's strange to see that that some bands don't care. You rarely see that at Swing Rock Festival because that's a that's a whole different ball game. But but it's 
if you're touring the world and and you're a band like Def Leppard and you see so many cities and play so many festivals around the world, uh, I I imagine it's hard to keep every show at the mm-hmm. highest level. True, um, true. But then on the other hand, they're professionals. I mean, they do this for a living, so um, it should be like that. But but sometimes I've been to shows where bands fall short of of that but Def Leppard they put on a show um, um I have to ask you about Motley Crue because we talked about yes. the whole Nick Mars things a few weeks ago yeah and did, did you did you stay f- around to see them or uh no no, no I've seen <laughs> I was gonna ask you how the yeah how the dynamic is working with the, without Nick were, Mars and they were going on uh, after Death Leopard, which was crazy, because they they their show stopped at at nine thirty, and and uh, Motley Crue was supposed to go on like eleven fifteen, eleven thirty, something like that, mm. which was like a huge gap. So yeah, I don't know yeah. why, and and I thought to myself, well, I could stay just to see if all the rumors are true and all the videos that I've seen out there uh, with Vince, the dude can't sing anymore. I'm, I'm sorry to say, I mean, uh, I, I love the first three crew albums, uh, especially shadow of the devil. Uh, it's, it's one of the, mm-hmm. the best uh, albums that came out in, in, in the early eighties. Uh, but I don't know. Standing there in the middle of the night, going, "Well, it's sort of <laughs> like what I thought it would be, disappointing and so forth." I I actually heard that, not in as biggest numbers at at as Guns N' Roses had a couple of years ago, but um, in the thousands, people left. Oh, really? Yeah. Wow. Um, okay. But when when uh, Guns N' Roses played, they say that half the audience left. It, it, it was that <laughs> it was that bad. <laughs> oh, uh, I I don't know. I I wasn't there, so so I I I, I couldn't actually say. But but um um yeah, it, it was strange. Mm. No, so yeah. um if I was like twenty twenty five years old, m- maybe I I've. I should have stayed. I mean, I don't know, but no, no I don't know. No, I don't know just just d- noped right out of that one because yeah, yeah who cares? Yeah, yeah. It, it's it's like now. Well, I, I I was thinking that that you know, and, and this is maybe the 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 conspiracy theorist in me. Yeah, is like they're not relevant anymore, and. I just got to wonder if this whole Mick Mars thing was a way to make them more relevant, get him in the news, get some hype, bring in mm. what's his name. I'm drawing a blank on his name right now. Um, John five. Thank you. John five in to replace him was yeah. just this whole big, you know, Hey, look at us. We're, we're here and we're back. And you know, the whole new record that they've been working on now rumor, you know, as mm. the rumor mill states. Yeah. So I just got to wonder if if that's what it was about for them to be relevant again and for them to to close out the the, the first – was it the first night? Yeah, of, first night. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah it's kind of like, mm, okay, I don't know. I guess it worked. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, and if it was Def, Def Leppard, I, I, I wouldn't go either. But but I have more respect for, for a band like Def Leppard than I have for a band like Motley Crue. Because um, I think, regardless of uh, what I feel about the music with Def Leppard, I mean, they stayed relevant to people. Uh, they they've still relevant for people who like uh, pop I mean, music. They, yeah, if you know, if, yeah, <laughs> if you put it like that. But if you know what I, I don't mean. say that I don't say that in a bad way. I, I say that in, in yeah. You know, they're they're pop rock. They're yeah. the the you know whatever. They, it's A and R. Yeah, A and R music. But yeah. but 
you got this band like Motley Crue. They're in and out. I'm, I'm, they're doing a couple of shows. Tommy breaks his back or whatever. I don't know what the fuck is going on. Then somebody said it, it's it, the drums are pre-recorded at some point and and they had to stop and and then there's the Mick Mars thing and then Vince had had to kick some habit again and and I don't know what the fuck is going on. I mean, Def Leppard stayed on. I mean, it's I don't know. I don't I have more respect for 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 a band like Def Leppard anyways. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. But wow. it's yeah, it's crazy. It's crazy. All right. But it's any, a good any... fest. Oh no, go ahead. No, it's a good festival because the, the I mean each and every year that they they do something different they they try to get people to feel more comfortable and it's it's one of those i have my son with me i have texas with me and and he's helping me out and and filming a lot and and he has a different view of of stuff than i i do so he 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 gets that youth thing in there mm-hmm. and it's there you go yeah and it's it's great because because I I don't have to be I I rarely am afraid when I, when I go to to a festival that something bad is going to happen. If you go to a pop concert, I'm 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 always afraid because those guys they know they know they don't know shit about going to concerts. So it's 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 strange in in in, in that sense, but but it's. The it's one of the best shows and and you get to see the interviews and and you can check you guys can check the the um, the documentary we we did last year and and all of the bands that we interviewed they say it's top notch one of the best organized festivals there is in in uh, at least in Europe yeah so it's yeah I, I think the biggest my biggest takeaway from last year's documentary yeah. was. The amount of beer you fuckers drink over there. Yeah, you pain. see. <laughs> <laughs> so I got. I'm curious to see if if that stayed the same or went up or down or. Oh man, I, I, I'm guessing there was a lot of of beer consumption happening. It there. is. <laughs> maybe we should put that in there. I, I thought yeah. that was re- repeatable, but maybe yeah, yeah, yeah. since it's the 30th anniversary. Yeah. Yeah. The- the big three O, man. It's yeah. a big milestone. The, yeah. The Vikings, you know, drink beer, man. Yes. Out of the horns. Out of the say. horns. <laughs> Ale out of the horns, man. That's what you oh, gotta do. <laughs> man, fucking hell. All right. Any it's... final words before we we bail? No, it, it's I, yeah, I can say this. It's it's gonna be a freaking awesome mini documentary. The, the, I got some there there's some stuff in there that you shouldn't you shouldn't miss. It's it's um it's some really great stuff. So um awesome. keep your eyes and ears eyes to the sounds and, on vinyl and, podcast, man. Yeah, because we will definitely announce it once we get it released. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah. All right. Cool. And with that, we'll, we'll see you guys next week. Yes. Next week, we're doing Judas Priest. Just a little teaser. Judas Priest. It's going to be awesome. All right. Cooler. Later. All right. Later.